Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. It's time. Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada for some new comic books for the week. Let's get started with issue number 50 of The Amazing Spider-Man. That's right, it's finally here. After, you know, last week's super special anniversary issue. It kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? So let's take a look real quick at Atlantis Wasn't Built for Tourists, issue number two. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty good. The first issue was pretty awesome. Looking forward to the next one. How about issue number 37 of The Avengers? Because we got to see everybody apparently becoming a phoenix. That's the new trailer that they put out. Whatever. I'm glad they're at least putting out trailers. Promote your comic books for crying out loud. Stop making the burden ent entirely on me. Um, Bloodshot, issue number nine. Valiant Comics, killing it, baby. Issue number 24 of Captain America. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Uh, I believe it ends with the next issue. Not entirely sure. Captain Amer uh, Captain Marvel, issue number 22. That is a gorgeous cover. That is a beautiful cover. Loving that. That painted movie image. Uh, okay, I don't know what Commanders in Crisis is. Issue number one from Image. But there's like six, eight, something like that. Seven variant covers or whatever. Six variant covers plus this one, I think it is. There's a lot. So apparently it's going to be something cool. No promises on a review, but... It's in the stores, so go check it out, see if it's any good. Scout Comics, Concrete Jungle. They sent me this one for free. I didn't read it yet because I'm a bad, 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 bad boy. Anyway, they did, however, also send me uh, Yasmin, issue number three, uh, and I got another one from the, the writer himself, and uh, Pretty Spanktacular. We're going to see about putting a review up for that also. Okay, we have now got Death Metal, issue number four. That's out. This, um, really, we're doing the Watchmen stuff again? That's what it looks like to me. Uh, Vault Comics, De uh, The Devil's Red Bride, issue number one. So this is a new comic. It's got a couple of uh, variant covers out there. Feel free to check it out. We've got Dynamite. So I love the idea that Dynamite's getting involved. they got a lot of properties. Am I wrong? So they're going to be getting involved in the zombies, like the Marvel zombies and the DC stuff. So die, Namite. I wonder what Image is going to do. Oh, wait, it's called The Walking Dead. Anyway, so <laughs> here's DC. They're going to be doing some stuff in here also. Uh, the Doomed and the Damned. So this is a giant size issue. Uh, I'm probably not going to be reviewing this. None of the writers or artists that I know contacted me and said, hey, I've got a story in here, so if I'm not promoting anybody individually, just know that this is out. It's a Halloween special. I didn't even realize that this was being advertised because DC themselves doesn't send me anything, so there's that. Uh, the Eternal Thirst of Dracula, book three, but this is part one. So issue number one of book three, it's a weird thing. Anyway, it exists. So if you're looking for it, bang. If you weren't looking for it, it found you. That's the worst kind of encounter with Dracula. Issue number 763 of The Flash. The tricks, like the trickster, is just the most important character in uh, Joshua Williamson's mind, isn't it? It is Joshua Williamson still, isn't it? I mean, why would he leave? Oh my God, Schnicked, Schnicked Wolverine, Wolverine's Unleashed Claws is writing this apparently. I don't know what happened. Anyhow, issue number eight of Beware My Power, Green Lantern, Volume Two. Yeah, the Green Lantern, Season Two. Anyway, that exists. Okay, this is a solemn sorry day, because if you're seeing this on Tuesday, issue number 28 of Hawkman, this is the final issue of the book. It's also the anniversary of the creation of Hawkman. You know what? Hawkman represents the Phoenix more than the Phoenix Force does. Dies only to rebirth from its ashes. Hawkman will be back, damn it. He will be back. Uh, so will his wife, because, you know. Anyway, um, you know who else is back? Issue number 38 of The Immortal Hulk. <laughs> this guy right here. He's kind of like Hawkman, but green and a little bit stronger. Okay, a lot stronger. Shut up. Hawkman can fly. This guy just jumps. Hmm. How about Justice League Odyssey, issue number 25? I'm not sure if this is how the book ends, but anyway. Uh, okay, we've been waiting for this one, and I was talking about it on the podcast, which you can get on Apple iTunes, on Spotify, on whatever, any any of the places that have podcasts, I'm there. Uh, anyway, issue number one of Warhammer, um, Marnus, uh, Marnius's, Marnius Caller. Jeez. Um, anyway, so The Legend, The Legacy, this, this book, this uh, five-issue limited series, I believe, 
I think it's supposed to be five issue limited series. This is actually going to give his origin story. Bang. So I remember the character from a while ago, but it was such a long time ago that I forgot how to pronounce his name. Yeah, I used to play Warhammer. So, uh, but I was more of a Space Wolves and Necron guy. So, Space Marines, <laughs> the extension, the war, the, the the wolves, baby. So, um, Marvel Zombies Resurrection issue number three. This is out. So, a whole lot of dead stuff this week, um, including something that should be dead. I'm opinionated this. I'm not going to be doing review in this out of protest. Tom King doing Rorschach. I'm not protesting Tom King. Kind of protesting Tom King. I'm boycotting uh, anything Watchmen from this point forward because if it's not done by Alan Moore, then it's not done properly and it's a breach of contract. Unfortunately, DC simply has far better lawyers than Alan Moore will ever be able to afford. So there's that. Plus, he's a lot more complacent than I think a lot of us would like him to be. If it was Rob Liefeld, he'd go after these guys crazy. But anyway, Rorschach is out. Don't buy it because screw DC for breach of contract okay still water issue number one this is the second printing so i'm going to try and get to reviewing this i'm going to try really hard that being said second printing so it was apparently really really good a lot of you guys told me i just been busy you know what looks good the miranda brothers aftershock we live this cover is an amazing cover i hope i could judge this book by its cover all right. This is gorgeous. I really do want to read this in a bad way. Wonder Woman 764. And a bunch of Ten of Swords stuff. So we've got, okay, let's see if I can put these in order. Um, part 8. No, nope, here's part 6. Here's part 7. Okay, there we go. So, uh, Ten of Swords, uh, Hellions, issue number 5. This is part 6. Part 6. All right, there's three of them, technically four. Uh, the next one, part seven, is New Mutants issue number 13. Bang. We have got Cable issue number five, and that is part eight of 22. Ay. And also, there's the Ten of Swords handbook. So hopefully this will catch us up to date on some stuff and not just be a bunch of fluff about, you know, fluff. They don't like fluff. Even I don't even use a pillow. So that's how anti-fluff I am. Okay, finally, we've got Amazing Spider-Man True Believers featuring Black Widow and the Amazing Spider-Man. Just saying, that exists. This is not her first appearance. Uh, it might be her first appearance in the new costume, though. Um, another Black Widow story. Oh, Inhumans and Black Widow. This was actually really good. I did a review on the Inhumans side of the story, and I briefly talked about the Black Widow story. So you can go back and check that spotlight on story for Inhumans, or buy this book for $1. Both of these books, they're only $1, my peeps. No reason not to grab them if you're even in the slightest bit interested. And I think you guys want to see a sweep.
All right, let's take a look at some of the toys. We've got the entire selection of the Sonic figures in. These things are gorgeous, you know it's true. And for the full range, bang, there you go. So they're all here. We've got a case, that means six, of the Red Ninjas. Who knows what else we got? Come on in and check it out. Or, you know, contact on the website details. I post those for a reason. Bang, you got this uh, 1989 Batman. You've got a Battlestar Galactica Heavy Raider. You got a whole bunch of Star Trek figures. And you've got Star Wars. Oh, the little guys. Here's all the little guys here. Anything that you're looking for. We've got these guys here. Back to Star Trek. We've got, what is all this? I didn't see this before. Ah, we got the Tiger Electronic Games now for Transformers. You know you want one. Just stop. Stop with the silliness. We've got more of the Green Ranger daggers in, the musical daggers. Some of that Megazord? Whatever the heck that thing is called. The Dinozord. I think it's called the Dinozord. Anyway, bang, you got this guy here. I don't know what this is from, but it's from something. And some of you are going, wow, because yeah. Here's this gigantic 1.5 scale um, maquette <laughs> for Pennywise. So this thing is effing huge. Effing huge. So one-fifth scale. We have got tubs. We've got this thing, a cooler. I don't know what cooler is, but it looks like a giant version of cooler, uh, which is an even bigger version of Frieza. <laughs> anyway. So we got these, oh, the Frontline Heroes. Like, that's kind of cool. I dig on that. I dig on that. We've got a wooden Iron Man, because why not? And we got a bunch of these guys over here. All right, guys, I'm back. Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. You see where I'm pointing? There's a reason for that. Go to that website, and you can get one of the exclusive store-only covers for The Last Ronin. That's that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle thing coming up. There's supposed to be 500 copies. It's been reduced to 450. Why? Some of them came in damaged, and Carlos doesn't clown around with that. So he's literally dropping it down to 450 just to make sure that nobody gets a horrible copy. One, that's epic, isn't isn't it? Two, that means even fewer of them. So I'm saying. So last Rowan, you want to get your hands on it right up here. Hey, in, in case you're not sold, maybe you want some of the extra good stuff with it that you can find on the website, including CGC or hell, you know what? Let's go a step further. How about signed by the creators of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? How about that? And CGC that. Go here, you will get all of that stuff. Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles is actually CG, uh, CGC certified, and they, we have access to people that most people don't. I'm just saying. So go and check them out right here. That's where you can get all the stuff. You ever want their signature? This is how you do it. You want a CGC? Quick little add on. I'll talk to you guys later. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.